Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a get ready with me. This is like my go-to makeup and a lot of you guys have requested this look, so let's get started. First things first, we're starting off with the eyebrows and I'm using this iconic London brow cushion. This is in the shade medium and we're just filling in those bad boys and then cleaning them up with some concealer. And then right after that, I like to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime primer and just apply that all over the face. This really just smooths out my skin and preps it for foundation. We are caking it on today because I was planning on going to an event, but the event did not allow minors, so that was a fail. But the makeup was still popping, so I'm going in with the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This is such a full coverage foundation, so I applied way too much, but we're just going with it and we're just buffing that out with a Kabuki brush. Alrighty, so now I'm going in with the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast and I'm just gonna use this to pre-bronze up my skin and do a little bit of cream contouring because I really want my bronzer to last all night. So I start off with my forehead first, blend that out, and then I go in and do my cheekbone contour. Now we are using the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer and I'm going to layer up on the concealer because I love me some good full coverage under eyes. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going underneath the eyes and the center of our face and then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade to brighten up underneath my eyes just to get like a really nice highlighted under eye look. Now I'm just going to use Max Patrick's powder to bake underneath my eyes and anywhere where I place the concealer because I do not want that to crease. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder in the number 120 and set my entire face because I want my face to look full coverage, flawless, just for any of the photos I was going to be taking that night. I love this trick. Well, everybody does this, but I always grab the Hula bronzer and just slap it all over my eyelid and into my crease. It's just such a quick, easy eye look. And then I just go in with a statement eyeliner, like a winged liner, and that's what I'm doing right now. That's like my favorite go-to look. And if this is like for a night out, I always apply like a gel liner in the waterline to really intensify the eye makeup. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Gel Highliner. This is the best eyeliner for the waterline. It does not smudge at all. And then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and apply my favorite eyelashes by Coquette Chronicles in the Style Jewel. And boom, the eye look is finished. Looks so much better. <laughs> going in with my bronzer, which is the Hula by Benefit, I'm going to just bronze up the perimeter of my face and then going in with a contour brush, I'm going to just contour and define my cheekbones a little bit more. Now I'm going in with the Galani Blush Duo and mixing those two blushes and applying that to the apples of my cheeks. I really like uh, a pinky corally blush, especially for photos and events because it really livens up the face and it looks really pretty. So we're doing that and then blending everything out and then going in with an oldie but a goodie MAC soft and gentle first I'm spraying my brush with some fix plus and just packing on that highlight I really want an intense highlight for a night out like you just want the highlight to be popping applying some to the center of my face as well like on my nose my forehead above my brow bone my cupid's bow and all those areas now I'm going in with MAC Fix Plus to just set all the powders and make everything combine into one. And then going in with MAC Lipstick in Yash and just blending that out with my finger just to soften it up a little bit. And then going in with one of my favorite all-time glosses, Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian and just applying that all over the lips. And the makeup look is done. Now let's just move on to the hair, something very sleek clean simple all right so my hair was air dried and now i'm just dividing it into two sections because i do have a lot of hair and then just tying up the first half and then we're gonna work on the bottom half of my hair so i'm brushing everything out so i don't have any knots and tangles and then the hair straightener that i love is from babyless and it's just like their classic simple flat iron i don't know my sister got this for me on my birthday and i love it so i'm just going section by section and just straining my hair once and then i just restrain the pieces that need to but this just really prevents me from using too much heat Yeah. 
And then once everything is done, I like to just brush everything out once more and I go in with any kind of oil, a hair oil. This is by the brand Garnier and I just do a pump and a half and then distribute that through my hands and then I just go in starting from the bottom of my hair and working it up because I don't want my hair to be too greasy but I really want like a nice silky finish to my hair so the oil really really helps. This is how I strain it, this is the products that I use. It's very simple, it's very quick and easy and yeah, the oil really helps making my hair look all nice and shiny. But that is the finished hair and makeup. This is something I do when I'm in a hurry and I don't really want to experiment. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!